Hello friends and welcome to my channel, where I share the latest news and updates on science and technology. In today's video, I'm going to talk about India's Samadrayan mission, which is an initiative to undertake the deep ocean exploration focused on India's exclusive economic zones and continental shelf. Background Imagine a gigantic underwater plot of land, covering 2.2 million square kilometers, right next to India. That's what India's exclusive economic zone, EEZ, is like. This area, like a special underwater garden, holds lots of treasures like minerals and resources, but nobody has really explored it yet. Think of the EEZ like a special fishing zone, granted by the United Nations, where India gets first dibs on exploring and using what's there. Now, India just got access to a particularly rich part of this underwater garden, a 150,000 square kilometer patch in the central Indian Ocean. Here, they found special, lumps called polymetallic nodules, made of iron and manganese. Estimates say there are 380 million tons of these polymetallic nodules lying around, and even recovering just 10% could power India for the next 100 years. It's like finding a giant stash of batteries under the sea. So, while this underwater garden is mostly unexplored, it holds exciting possibilities for India's future. Maybe one day, we'll be using these resources to power our homes and gadgets. After Chandrayaan 3 success in year 2023, India set sights on manned Samadrayan mission. The Samadrayan mission, which means sea craft in Sanskrit, is a part of India's deep ocean mission, which was approved by the government in June 2023 with a budget of $50 million. The mission aims to develop technologies and capabilities for the exploration and utilization of marine resources such as minerals, energy, and biodiversity. One of the main components of the Samadrayan mission is the development of a manned submersible called Matsya 6000, which will be able to carry three scientists to a depth of 6 kilometers 6, meters, underwater. It has an endurance of 12 hours of operational period and 96 hours in case of emergency. The name, Matsya, is derived from Sanskrit, that translates to, fish, and 6,000 means, 6,000 meters. The submersible is being designed and built by the National Institute of Ocean Technology, NIOT, in Chennai, under the guidance of the Ministry of Earth Sciences. Matsya 6000 Features The Matsya 6000 submersible will have a titanium alloy pressure hull, which will be able to withstand the immense water pressure at such depths. It will also have various sensors and instruments for scientific data collection and analysis, such as cameras, sonars, manipulators, samplers, and spectrometers. The submersible will be powered by lithium-ion batteries and will have a life support system for the crew. Schedule. The projected timeline is five years for the period 2021 to 2026. The Matsya 6000 submersible is expected to undergo trials in the Bay of Bengal in early 2024. The first manned mission is planned for 2025. National Institute of Ocean Technology, NIOT, Chennai, an autonomous institute under MOS, has developed 6000 m depth rated remotely operated vehicle, ROV, and various other underwater instruments such as Autonomous Coring System, ACS, Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, AUV, and Deep Sea Mining System, DSM, for the exploration of deep sea. Mission Objectives the submersible will explore the deep ocean resources such as precious metals and minerals like nickel, cobalt, and manganese, which are essential for various industries and technologies. It will also study the deep sea biodiversity and ecosystems, which are largely unknown and unexplored. This mission aims to mine polymetallic nodules from the 75,000 square kilometers area in the central Indian Ocean Basin. It also aims to do the research work on the formations of climate change. It also aims to set up the tidal energy plant which can work for multiple years. Apart from this, Matsya 6000, submarine, will carry three oceanauts in the seabed and all of them will perform the research work over there. Moreover, Matsya 6000 also aims to perform regular operations for 12 hours. The Samadrayan mission is a landmark project for India, as it will put the country in an elite club of nations that have developed technology and vehicles for deep sea exploration. Currently, only the US, Russia, Japan, France, and China have such capabilities. The mission will also enhance India's scientific knowledge and understanding of the ocean, which covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface. Countries already completed manned deep ocean missions. Several countries have successfully completed manned deep ocean missions, including United States, achieved numerous dives with submersibles like Alvin and DSV Alvin, reaching depths exceeding 8,000 meters. 
Russia, notable missions include Mir submersibles operating for extended periods on the ocean floor. China, developed and deployed submersibles like Jialong, reaching depths over 7,000 meters. France, known for submersibles like Nautil, capable of exceeding 6,000 meters. Japan, operated submersibles like Shinkai 6500, diving beyond 6,500 meters. It's important to note that while India is in the development phase of its manned ocean mission with the Samadrayan project, it hasn't completed this mission till February 2024. The countries listed above have already achieved this feat at varying depths. Why manned deep ocean missions are so difficult? Manned deep ocean missions are incredibly challenging for several reasons. Extreme pressure, imagine the weight of the entire ocean pressing down on you. As you go deeper, the pressure increases exponentially. At the Challenger Deep, the deepest point on Earth, the pressure is over 1,000 times greater than at sea level, requiring submersibles to be incredibly strong and resistant to crushing. Hostile environment, the deep ocean is an unforgiving place. Temperatures can be near freezing. Visibility is almost zero due to lack of sunlight, and unique chemical compositions exist that can corrode metals and harm humans. Submersibles need special materials and life support systems to withstand these conditions. Limited mobility, maneuvering a heavy submersible in the deep ocean is difficult. Currents can be unpredictable, and navigating around deep sea features requires advanced technology and skilled pilots. Safety risks, even with the best technology, things can go wrong. Technical malfunctions, fires, and decompression sickness are some of the risks faced by crew members. Rescue operations are also extremely challenging due to the depths involved. Cost, building and maintaining submersibles, training crews, and conducting missions is incredibly expensive. Only a handful of countries have the resources and technology needed to undertake these endeavors. Ethical considerations, exploring the deep ocean can disrupt fragile ecosystems and raise questions about responsible resource utilization. Manned missions must be carefully planned and conducted with minimal environmental impact. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about India's Samadrayan mission. If you did, please give it like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on science and technology. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.